This is just a message to you if your relationship is going through a storm, all you need to do is to locate Jesus. You've tried severally to calm the troubled relationship with your methods and connections, but everything seems futile. Just look for Jesus first. With him, you have first secured a comfortable space for yourself in the storm. Jesus says in the scriptures that, Come to me, all you that labor and are of heavy laden, and I will give you rest. If your relationship is troubled, come to Jesus. He will fix it. He will give you rest. Sometimes you may think Jesus does not care about your troubled relationship. You're thinking that if he had cared, he will have retained the sanity, love and peace in your relationship. You know that was exactly what the disciples said to Jesus when they eventually found him sleeping while they struggled to maneuver the storm. They asked if it did not matter to him that they died in the storm. I'm sure they might be very angry with him and I think that you are angry and bitter too right now. But let me tell you this. Jesus cares about you and all that you are going through in that relationship. Just acknowledge first that he loves you. He's not at all excited about what you're going through. Just like the disciples, wake him up and invite him to speak to that storm troubling your relationship. All he wants from you is that you call him to calm the storm. He can fix your troubled relationship. Just call on him. Ask and it shall be given unto you. Seek peace and God will release it into your relationship. God can fix it. Just seek and ask him. Have you tried going to counsellors for counsel? Have you ever tried following relationship rules and principles to make it work out? Yet, if you still have troubles as adornment in your relationship, turn to God and he will fix it for you. He will speak peace into that troubled relationship. He will cause the storm to stop and the troubled waves in your relationship will be settled. Is your partner no longer giving you the regard and respect that you deserve? And have you become irrelevant because of some kind of crisis that came up? Do not worry, God will turn the captivity over for you. And when he does, it will look as if you're dreaming. There is no mountain too high for your relationship that God cannot make low. He will level down that a huge problem facing your relationship. Are you facing rejection from people who once supported your relationship, who doted on you and gave you all the encouragement you needed? Now they all seem to turn their back on you at this critical moment. Do not fret. God is in the process of bringing out your relationship as pure as gold. Do you even know the intensity of the fire that gold passes through before it can accrue such relevance, importance and value? Your relationship that is going through tough times this period is in the process of making. The trouble is to make your relationship come out as gold, beautiful and relevant. Just do not give up. Allow God to fix it. Is your partner giving you a tough time? Are you faced with verbal abuse and you don't know how to go about it? Proverbs 15 verse 1 says, A person stops being angry when people answer him kindly, but a cruel world makes a person angry. So, in fixing your troubled relationship, God is going to give you the wisdom to relate with your irate partner peacefully and amicably. Sometimes your responses to your partner's words, actions and inactions can fuel more problems in the relationship. Careless and bitter responses can make things worse in the relationship. But do not worry, God is fixing that aspect of your life and relationship. He is giving your partner patience and self-control and he's also fixing you to be able to give calm and reasonable responses. Through this, your relationship will experience peace that surpasses human understanding. Is finances the issue? Is your relationship on the edge because of some financial constraints? Know that God is in charge. He will bring help to you from Zion. Always remember that the Lord will give you many baskets of food from your fields. He will be with you as you make your bread. He will make you happy in your work and give you good things everywhere you go. 
God is fixing your troubled relationship by giving you all round blessings. He is going to make all things new for you. Philippians chapter 4 verse 19 says, My Lord God in heaven has plenty of good and valuable things. Because you belong to Christ Jesus, God will give you everything that you need. Believe God and his words concerning the finances in your home. The financial troubles in your relationship are coming to an end in Jesus' name. God is also fixing your troubled relationship by making you and your partner go back to your first love. Remember those times that you were head over heels in love with each other? Remember the time you could barely eat or drink because your partner was sick or was not around? The love was strong and intoxicating. But all of a sudden something happened and the love evaporated. You could not even trace how it all went. But do not worry, God is restoring that love in your relationship. He will make your partner look at you with admiration and deep love. Your partner will cherish and respect you. God will also work on your heart to make you pursue peace. He will grant you the courage to do things that you used to do before the devil struck. God is rebuking the devil from your relationship and he is taking over completely. God will also bring to your remembrance the pure and lovely pictures of how you used to laugh together, play and delight in helping each other. He will turn the heart of your partner to you so that the tension troubling your relationship will ease off. God will settle you in all areas. He will build the fallen wall and mend the broken bridge in your relationship. He will fix every loophole that the enemies are passing through to have access to your relationship. He will cause people to honor your relationship and he will restore all that the devil has stolen. He will also give you the strength to build an exceptional relationship because the relationship is hard work. God will fix all those challenges posing as threats to the peace of your relationship. Just be still and know that the Lord is your help. When you experience peace in your relationship, you think well, you do well and you live well. Peace is unnegotiable in any relationship. It must be pursued and maintained. However, there are times when troubles come and the storms will come in a bellow of rage. This period brings out the best or the worst in you, depending on how you handled every situation that popped up during this period. No relationship is free from challenges, but it's very essential to learn relationship management. This proves your sense of maturity and the level of joy you experience. Several relationships collapse, not because of anything, but lack of preparation and proper management. Many factors can be responsible for the trouble you're going through in your relationships, like sickness, joblessness, bankruptcy, finance, unfaithfulness, intruders, barrenness, and the like. Every relationship, at one point or the other, faces tiny bits or a big chunk of trouble. God, however, did not say that you will not have trouble in this world, but he promises to grant you peace in it. John chapter 16 verse 33 says, I have told you these things so that you will have peace. You will be like that because you are united with me. In this world, you will have trouble, but be brave. I have destroyed the power of this world. All you have to do is to allow him to lead you out of the challenge. Remember the story of Jesus and his disciples in the boat? The Bible says that they were crossing the lake to the other side of the town. Jesus was in the boat with the disciples when the strong wind began to blow across the lake and the disciples were unable to control the water that was entering the boat in large volumes. The boat was almost sinking when they remembered they had not seen Jesus anywhere trying to save the boat. This is the most confusing part to many believers when believers are facing unexplainable troubles in their relationships, and it seems like the Lord is silent over it. You feel neglected and lonely. But the disciples quickly went to look for him, and they saw him in a comfortable place at the back of the boat sleeping. Can you imagine that? He called for the journey initially, and yet there's trouble, but the master was sleeping. 
I wonder how he was able to find a comfortable place in a troubled boat that was on the verge of sinking as a result of the storm that rose. Jesus was calm in the storm. He was not disturbed at all. How come he was able to find a comfortable place to sleep while the storm was on?